Look at this. <laughs> Never seen that before in my life. I don't even know where they get that. The answer might be the lab, a place where ingenuity flourishes. And while this is what a traditional one looks like, the Chiefs do their most creative work outside. When the Chiefs are practicing, Mahomes and Kelsey go down to the other end of the field and they make a little bit of the magic. Yeah, they go down there and make up stuff. <laughs> they work a lot in the laboratory, as they call it. We built this culture of let's go out there and practice, have a great time doing it, enjoy it, have fun, but at the same time, uh, let's be great. You have Pokemon. I guess you could call that the lab. It's always fun to see what's really possible and what we could really do out there on the field. And the fact that Coach Reed is kind of always, you know, he's open ears at least. He might not agree to everything. He's got, as he says it best, he's got 51%, so. There's definitely a lot of plays that he's axed out. So we have to make sure it's perfect whenever we bring it to him and that it actually is going to work. He won't say no way we're not doing it. He just will never put it in the game plan. With the Chiefs, sometimes it's harder to determine which are crazier. Plays that make the game plan. They shovel it inside Edward Diller! Touchdown! Or ones that occur when their mad scientist wings it. He's a wizard out there, man. Patrick Mahomes, the magic man. He's the Houdini of our era, man. Holds it, now he's gonna shovel it late! He's got McKinnon! We see him out there practicing this crazy <laughs> and it's like, okay, he will never do that in a game. What'd he do? The play's never dead, man. Spinning, trying to keep the play alive. It's the play after the play, the extended play, that makes Pat Mahomes the best quarterback in the National Football League. In a rematch of Super Bowl 55, Mahomes was asked to be an actor. Four seconds on the play clock, now a direct snap, and the Chiefs trying to shove forward, touchdown! And he and Kelsey know how important it is to follow a great script. This isn't my first time hosting a TV show. I actually had my own dating show on E! called Catching Kelsey. Uh, it was kind of like The Bachelor, uh, except instead of roses, I handed out footballs, and instead of watching, people do not. Which was... The pure brilliance on stage or a field often comes when the leading man improvises. Holding it, gets off the hit, now lunging forward, and now fires it late, caught at the back of the end zone! Y'all saw that? I know y'all saw that. That's right. That's something you like. You do a man. The ability to keep creating on the run. That's the time where it's really time to get jiggy and we're in the backyard playing football like little kids with no rules. He looks like the dad playing in the backyard with all the kids and they can't get him on the ground. Watch this. All of a sudden, the ball just comes floating out like it was an NFL film's heavenly moment. I always think it's a little cool whenever you go watch the highlights after the game and you see a, a throw that you didn't expect to be that cool, and then you're like, man, that was a sweet play. 